Here now with reaction are two people who know an awful lot about this. Our own Sarah Carter, who has extensively covered the border, and Tom Homan, the former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Uh, as Sarah, first I want to go to you. You've been out on the border a lot. You've been covering this extensively. You talked to a lot of border agents out there. I mean, look, we got a lot of people crossing the border now, even though Title 42 is still in place. I can't only imagine if Title 42 goes away, what this onslaught is going to be like. Well, I think uh, Judge Summer Hayes, the federal judge, uh, Jason, who blocked the Biden administration's ability to rescind Title 42, understands that. Uh, he is looking at not just the border, and it was an argument made by Attorney General, you know, from Arizona, Mark Burnovich, who said, look, every community in America is a border community. It's like the Biden administration is trying to double down on chaos, and they're doing it through the CDC. But think of the hypocrisy. The Biden administration believes that the American people are stupid, I guess, because the CDC is telling everyone to get tested now. They just made an announcement. They want everybody to get tested for COVID before they get on a flight. But yet they're going to open the border wide open to everyone and say there's not a problem with COVID at the border. It makes no sense at all. And absolutely there is concern. DHS has made the announcement that over 18 thousand people are expected daily if uh, Title 42 is rescinded. And you're right, we're seeing those numbers in droves. I think Bill Malusian's report was excellent, but I think what we're going to see is all those people that were in Mexico are going to be flooding to come across the border. And I know Tom Homan has talked about this in the past, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure that that is going to be the case in the upcoming days. Uh, Tom, you dedicated your career to enforcing the border and, and, and removing these people that are here illegally. I mean, this is absolutely disgusting what's going on. And the Biden administration is doing everything they can to get as many illegal people into this country that they possibly can. You know, you're right, Jason. I get up every day. I'm angry with this administration, the president, the vice president, the secretary, this island of misfit toys. Their job is to defend this country protect our border, protect our sovereignty, and they've all, they've all thrown their oaths under the bus. None of them are doing the job they're supposed to be doing. None of them are upholding the oath they took to secure our border and protect America. You can't have national security without border security. And you're right, DOJ's already filed an appeal. So we've had two federal judges, one that ordered them to put the Remain in Mexico bracket in place. We had to sue them for that. I was part of that lawsuit. Then another federal judge just said, no, you can't stop Title 42. So this administration twice, when a federal judge ordered them to do this in order to secure the border, they appeal it. What Secretary of Homeland Security purposely appeals a decision to secure the border? And because of their policies, because of what this, this bunch of people have done, they took the most secure border we've ever had for all the work we did in the Trump administration and purposely unsecured it which resulted in more migrant deaths under Joe Biden than any year of my career. Over 112,000 Americans dying from overdose deaths of a drug that's coming across the Southwest border because 50 to 70% of the border patrol are changing diapers and making baby formula rather than doing their job. More women are being trafficked. More children are being trafficked. More rapes are occurring of women that, could, that weren't putting themselves into these cartels. The cartels are making billions of dollars. This administration is a joke. And I, I tell you, I met with a bunch of Republican congressmen the other day, and I told them, first day, the first day you take the House back in the Senate, you need to impeach Mayorkas. And if you don't, I'm done with them, too. You, we need to stand up. This is a national security issue. I'll, I'll do one more point. 700,000 got away since Joe Biden became president. We don't know who they mm -hmm. are. We don't know where they are. But we know they arrested people from 161 countries. We know a lot of those countries sponsor terrorism. We know they arrested 42 people on terrorist watch list. How many of the 700,000 came to this country to blow something up or to attack this nation? If the secretary had one ounce of integrity, one ounce of integrity, he would tell the White House, I can no longer support open borders. It's putting this country at great risk of terrorism. At what point does the American people stand up and say, this is enough? That's what he's I, doing. I totally agree. Tom but it, right. hey, hey, yeah, Sarah, I mean, hey, thank goodness Kamala Harris is on top of it as the borders are. And, you know, Joe Biden in his whole political career has never visited the southern border. He could be overseas right now, but he can't make it to the southern border. <laughs> 
Jason, I got to tell you, Tom is 100% right. The morale, you hear that passion in, in Tom Homan's voice? It's the same passion you hear from Border Patrol agents, from Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers, from people in the DHS that are saying, look, we, we can't even do our jobs anymore. Our hands are tied behind our backs. People are coming into this country that have not been vetted. Our job is to protect this nation, and our national security has been completely eroded. And not only that, I'm out there on the border, and I see the suffering of the people that are being trafficked by the drug cartels and, and by the human traffickers, and I see the suffering of American families whose children have died because they have taken counterfeit pills that have come across that border that look exactly like pills prescribed by doctors and pharmacies here that are nothing but pure fentanyl, and they are killing the American people. And remember, it's not just about the Mexican drug cartels. This is about our enemy states. This is about countries like China, yeah. Russia, North Korea, Iran, and others taking advantage of that border. And I think it is a serious problem, but I got to say, I agree with Tom. It appears that the Biden administration actually wants this. This is part of their policy. It's not a failed policy. It's a successful policy on the part of yeah. the Biden administration. Sarah Carter, Tom Homan. Tom, thank you for your service to our country in, in immigration and customs enforcement. We really do appreciate it.